and they've won five games in a row against some pretty good competition of uh, their last win against Rutgers and again a, a young backcourt still but obviously they have a lot of talent tell you what if they don't win tonight Chris Mack it will be their <laughs> last time that they wear those uniforms nice five by Perry to Stephen Enoch the ACC close to six assists per game that's a beautiful dime Great pass on the other end. Xavier Johnson underneath to Eric Hamilton playing well recently. Louisville gets into its offense now. It is Tony all over Wara. Doesn't get a touch, but Stephen Enoch connects. About the downhill driving from guys like Trey McGowan's. Shot clock at five for Johnson. He rises and answers. Xavier Johnson, one of the better guards in the ACC, and if he can knock down jumpers, he is so quick, so difficult to keep out of the lane. How about the response from Ryan McMahon? Shot. Perry skipped it for Sutton, and he's got one from beyond the arc. But Jordan Ward is going to beat us right now. They're doing an excellent job. Johnson. Gets two more, and he has five of the seven for the Panthers. Having him on my staff, uh, having my brother, somebody obviously that I've grown up with, uh, love, and I know I can trust. It's just been an unbelievable ride to share of this experience with him. And the rebound to Terrell Brown, the big off the bench. Tony's running. Laura with the block. Staring down Tony at the end of it. Breaking up a sure, uncontested layup. Xavier Johnson in the mid-range with two more, and he's up to seven. Limiting the runs that Louisville is known for, quiet in the crowd, that's what Pitt is doing early. How about the confidence from Darius Perry to step right into it, just his fifth made three of the season. Sutton is matched up with Justin Champagny. Back out for Fresh Kimball, and he joins the party from deep. That is five made threes for the Cardinals. Remember, the defense had done a pretty good job on Xavier Simpson of Michigan as well. Malik Williams with great patience. Johnson couldn't get a pass up. Louisville's on an 8-0 spurt these last three minutes. Malik Williams steps out. Another three. That is six of them from six different Cardinals. Shoot close to 40% from beyond the arc. They're just so difficult to match up against. Shot clock winding down. Hamilton scores over the top of Wara. Perspective shoot arounds the physicality that always seems to follow these matchups. Hamilton on the face up. Much needed buckets from him. Johnson. Rebound Wara. Taking it one on three, and Wara scores! Jordan Wara doing some of the same. It's only two so far, but his number one. Now the freshman rises, and hits. He's been doing on the ball screen. Johnson with five, driving on Perry. Gets a roll. That's a big bucket for Pitt to quiet this crowd. I feel like he's passed up a couple of jumpers. Great hands by McGowan's. That's what he does. And he hammers it home. And look, uh, I felt he's relaxed in these last five games as we see a look at another turnover uh, by Louisville. And he said, look, he put all this pressure on himself. A guy that flirted with going to the NBA. And he said, look, just relax. Wara. He's got a three as well. Credit Jeff Capel switching up the defense against Louisville. Tony matched up with Wara. And Wara with another one. You have to get your number up above 30% from beyond the arc. McMahon. His second three. Up against number one and undefeated Louisville. Justin Champagny. Scoreless the other day, and a bucket at the rim on the second effort. I think now in the second half for pitch, you have to adjust. You have to get out on the three-point shooters. See the balance for the Cardinals. There's Jordan Wara. Jeff Capel wanted to travel. So I think you need to force him to his left hand. Uh, he is 
yet to have to put the ball in his left hand in this game as we take a look at uh, Eric Hamilton. He has been impressive. His first two plus minutes of the second half. Hamilton's feeling good, and he's in the double figures with 10. Then he went to UNC Greensboro, sat out a year, played as a rotational piece. War off the baseline, out of bounds, has a chance at three. Great job by Sutton. He grabbed the loose ball, now War. Yes! Ryan Murphy is good from three. And certainly he's happy for the football team's success. Corner kick for Adis Tony, and he's got a three. And out of the stoppage, Louisville coughed it up. They now have double-digit turnovers. Pass by McGowan for Tony, who's been big again tonight for Pitt. And went out of the game when it was 40 to 30, right around the 16-minute mark when he picked up his third foul. He's back in, and it's a five-point game until Williamson scores. And now Hamilton and McGowan's both come back for Pitt. Jordan War is down. High low. Great catch by Enoch. Good hands by Tony. Johnson back the other way. And the finish. Hamilton wanted it but didn't get it. Johnson a step back. He's got that as well. Kimmel with a shake. And the follow for Williams. Well, 6 0 spurt for the Cardinals. McMahon. Man, he is pure. Picked off. Here's Jordan Wara. Trading night for the sophomore from South Carolina, Trey McGowan, who in the first meeting when Pitt beat Louisville last year at 33. Malik Williams has 11 for Louisville. Tony has been great for Pitt, dumps it off for Brown. That's a pretty little dump off pass. Eight players hit a three in the first half. So they have bounce. As we take a look at it, uh, another alley at that time. January, they get back again to ACC action against Wake Forest. Shot clock winding down, and Ryan Murphy with two. Impressive all around the first half. You have all the threes, but second half, again, that defense of the Louisville comes through with. Uh, they remain undefeated and still probably the number one team in college basketball.